Well, I've been making these videos now for about 13 months and I genuinely enjoy making them. And I've had some lovely comments from people saying that I'm generally happy and smiley and nothing ever gets me down. Well, today, I'm going to burst that bubble. Look at this face. This is not the face of a happy bunny. Now, I've come over to Swatham Heath and I'm doing a recce today. I also done one last weekend for a couple of hours because I want to try and build up a picture in my mind of what this woodland looks like in different conditions. Now, the woodlands is actually on the main road. And then off of the main road, you've got this really wide track that, that goes on for, for quite a long while, probably half a mile, three quarters of a mile with loads of parking spaces. And that is unfortunately this woodland's downfall because what happens is it attracts people to go down that track with their truck and just fly tip. And it's absolutely disgusting what they're doing. I can't believe that people would just go down there and just throw all of that crap on the floor. And it doesn't just stay in a pile, it blows everywhere. Now, I'm a builder, you know, and I know that a lot of that is, is building waste. And the thing is, I think it costs about 40 or 50 quid a tonne to go down to the local dump and get rid of it. So I just can't understand why people would be so disrespectful, come to a beautiful place like this and literally just put the tailgate up and just chuck that crap everywhere. Pigs. Should we carry on whinging? Now I've also done my shoulder in and I've got a little bit of man flu. Now. Well, it looks like I've opened up the whinging floodgates. Starting to snow now, and not the good snow either, not the, the real fluffy snow that's going to settle. It's more like kind of little hailstony type snow. And this is just pants. Don't like this. Want it to settle. Got a bit in my eye then. Good. Now please shut the fuck up. Oh, we've got fluffy snow. I've never shot in snow like this. I don't know what um, what settings to use. Oh, right. I'm thinking a fast shutter speed, but that means I'm going to have to put it on auto ISO. Um, so I'll give it a go. If you guys know what is the best shutter speed or the best settings to use for conditions like this, then please let me know in the comments section below, but I'll try and get what I can now, but I better clean that lens quickly. This was just not forecast today. In fact, they forecast rain today. I'm so pleased I'm here and it's settling as well. Uh, right, yeah, keep focus on what you're doing. Um, so right, what have I got? Let's have a little look. Let's have a little butchers. Right, so here we go. So I've got a shutter speed of 500 which is giving me a sh an, an ISO of 6,400. That's just so high. Right, well, I've dropped this down now to one over 125, which is now giving me an ISO of 1,000. Um, and I'm still capturing the snow. So actually, I think that's okay. I still don't know until I get them home. I don't shoot in these conditions very often, so I really can't compare. But at the moment, at least I feel happier with a lower ISO than something ridiculous like, you know, 6,400. <laughs> I can't see a thing. Oh, man, my glasses are falling to bits. Oh, I've just got to focus with my left eye now.
Oh no, I've now come to a crossroads and uh, <laughs> I just wish that I'd have had these conditions next Saturday. I mean the whole idea of today was just to have a walk and build up a picture in my mind which, which would look good, certain compositions would look good in uh, really good conditions. I've actually got the conditions but I've got no idea where I'm going. Right, so this is how I'm going to make my decision, the old vape. So whichever way the wind blows is the way that I'm going to go. I'll just hold it here for a minute, I don't want to waste it after all. Right, here we go. That way. Now that's why smoking is bad for you, because that vape sent me in totally the wrong direction. I was in the woods for a probably, I don't know, an hour and a half to two hours, and I just couldn't get another image. Everything just looked so nice, it was so pretty, but converting that into an image was, was near on impossible for me. So I decided to goose step my way out of the woods, head back to the car for a cup of tea, and check the weather. Now, the weather said that the following day, or that evening, was going to be minus two degrees, which meant the following day was going to be nice and frosty. So I decided to head home, come back the following day, and then really get these amazing frosty images. Well, that was the plan anyway. Well, I'm back over at the, the heath today, and it's minus three. Now, I've only just kind of entered the woods, but what I was really hoping for was all of these ferns to be covered in ice. That's what I was really banking on. And when I left home this morning, it took me about 10 minutes to actually de-ice the car. But so far, there's no ice over here at all. I think it's just been really protected by all of these pine trees. So before I go around the corner, the sun is up now and it's just kind of coming through the woodland. And so I thought, well, what I'll do, I'll just take this shot. It's, uh, it's not, I don't think it's gonna be particularly great, but I didn't want to get round the corner and look for something and then actually lose the low sun. So I thought this is worth taking, even if it's no more than me getting home and playing around with it. Well, I actually know what I'm looking for, uh, which obviously makes this a little bit easier, but I'm just obviously trying to find it now. And I really want to find some of these ferns that are covered in ice. And then I want that bright sunlight to hit the fern, and that way you get some really nice kind of contrast between the sun lifting out the colors of this brown bracken but also retaining the ice. So I have found some here, um, but at the moment the sun is really tucked behind this kind of big conifer and it's, it's, I think it's gonna take quite a while for that sun to get above uh, this composition. So I'm just gonna leave the tripod here and I'm just gonna have a, a little walk around um, and just see if I can find kind of anything else. If not, I may have to wait for this composition here to come to life. Well, I have to admit, I am very disappointed with the amount of frost. I mean, everything is reading minus three, but it just doesn't feel like it. It, it, it feels above zero. I'm just, I'm not cold at all. Um, and yesterday I was really banking on today being good. When I got really cold yesterday, I just thought, oh, well, that's okay. You know, just, just move on, go home. Uh, Cause when you come back tomorrow, you're gonna have blue skies, you're gonna have frost everywhere. And it uh, just goes to show sometimes uh, you can't predict it that well. Or you shouldn't count your chickens, I should say. But the composition that I found here um, is, is, is incredibly basic. But it's finding the right group of ferns. And what I was after was something that had a lot of leaves. Because a lot of these ferns around here, there's a lot of stems showing. Uh, and it makes it look kind of quite messy. And it's not the image that I want. So... I took a wander off further over in that direction where the sunlight's uh, hitting the ferns. And uh, yeah, it, it, I couldn't find anything. So I think I'm happy to, 
to stay here and just wait for the sun. I mean, you can see in the background now, the sun is getting closer towards me because all of that is being lit. The sun is actually obviously behind you guys, but there's a huge conifer because I'm very close to, you know, th these row of trees here. So I think perhaps that's why this here uh, has got a little bit more of the frost. So yeah, nothing complicated about this image at all. The, uh, the hardest thing about this image is just waiting for that sun to hit it just at the right time. Well, as you can see by the colour of my face and everything around me, the sun's up. It's come from behind the conifer. It's illuminating everything apart from my composition. And I think we, without the sun making that composition really golden, uh, with the ice as well. Um, I don't think it's going to be a particularly great image. But I'm going to leave here in about 15 minutes because I've got things to do this afternoon. So I'll show you the image and I'll also show you the image and image that I took when I was in Derbyshire uh, just before Christmas. So you can see what I was trying to, trying to find today. But as always, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and until next week, see ya.